Major change could be coming at one of our area's top universities. Some faculty members at Duke say administrators aren't listening to them, and now they want to unionize. It's a story you'll only see on WNCN. Our Michael Hyland is here now with a closer look. Michael? Yeah, the professors pushing to unionize tell us they've been worried about their job security and whether they can even pay their bills, even while working at one of the nation's most prestigious private universities. Some professors at Duke say things on campus can't stay the way they are. Jay Bird Obersky is an assistant professor who's been teaching theater for 17 years. As Duke becomes a, a larger corporation, the teachers are the ones who get forgotten and unheard. He's part of a group of non-tenured faculty looking to unionize as part of the Service Employees International yeah. Union, or SEIU. The push toward unionization has caught on at other schools in the country as the percentage of non-tenured faculty has grown. Once we started kind of talking to each other and comparing stories, we realized, oh, I thought I was the only one that was, you know, having a problem getting health insurance or didn't know if I was going to have a job next semester. They've launched a group called Duke Teaching First. About 40% of the university's faculty would be eligible to join the union. The university administrators say that's not the way to go. They created this website called Duke One to One, pointing out pay and benefits may not get any better after unionizing. They write that the university does not believe unionization is in the best interest of those faculty members, the university, or our students. That's kind of what they have to do to protect themselves. Uh, it's disappointing. At this community meeting, some students turned out to back their teachers and have launched a social media campaign to generate support. The non tenure track uh, job market is pretty much my future. So in a way, supporting the union is really about supporting my future. I'm concerned that they can't really feel completely committed to their work at Duke when they're feeling undervalued in the classroom and they're being underpaid. Those are really the kind of working conditions we're trying to improve so that I don't have to worry about literally will I be able to make my house payment next semester. Administrators at Duke declined to comment. Now, in order to move forward with a vote on unionizing, at least 30% of the employees who would be eligible would have to sign a card showing their support. Organizers hope that vote could happen as soon as next semester. Michael, because North Carolina is a right-to-work state, what does this mean for faculty who don't want to join a union? Right, well, you can't be forced to join or forced to pay dues against your will, but Duke administrators point out collective bargaining agreements could still apply to those employees. All right, Michael Hyland tonight reporting. Michael, thank you. GLP <laughs>